All right, today we're gonna have a look at this shrub here. So if we're looking at it closely, we can notice a few things out right away. One is that it has opposite branching. So where the leaves are coming out across from each other on the stem, that's where a little bud is located. So this whole structure here is the leaf and each one of these are individual leaflets. So it's got a compound opposite leaf and a serrated edge to the leaflets. So it's got this kind of cut toothed edge. Um, another thing you can look at with compound leaves is how many pairs there are. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one has seven. Over here, this one only has five. Um, I saw another leaflet on here that has nine. So it, it's not always consistent, the number, um, but that range of five to nine leaflets compound opposite can be a helpful uh, trait. Another thing we can look at is um, the flower structure, which conveniently is out right now. So you can see they're kind of like these sort of pyramidal kind of type arrangements. And uh, this is actually where its plant gets its name. So this type of structure of flowers is called a raceme. Um, so you can see it's sort of, like I said, a bunch of little flowers on this uh, compound structure. And they're quite small. Uh, they don't last all that long either. Most of the flowers on this shrub have changed into fruit. Like we can start to see here, the flowers are gone, they've been pollinated, and now they're turning into fruit. So later in the season, these will be bright red, nice and bright red berries. Another thing we can note about it is it's got this kind of messy growth habit. So you can see there's branches sort of coming out at every angle, sort of sprawling, falling kind of habit. This um, here's, here's a nice big branch coming all the way out there. See that? So it's got these nice kind of sweeping, arching, branching habit. And um, yeah, in the winter when it doesn't have leaves on it, it has really large buds. Um, another characteristic you can note is if you squish up a leaf and smell it, it has this really strong potent scent. Um, not super pleasant perhaps. It sort of has almost kind of a licorice-y sort of smell if you had to describe it. Uh, so depending on what time of the year you're looking at, different traits become more or less important. But with this tree, the or excuse me, this shrub, <laughs> sometimes the our division between tree and shrub can be kind of arbitrary. But we got a sprawling, very large growing shrub and um, yeah, so what we're looking at here is a red elderberry or a Sambucus racemosa.